The universe reckons up a whole lot of secrets. It's a massive and mysterious place, all right. And one of its most mind-boggling events is happening right now as we speak. The Andromeda Galaxy is on a crash course with our very own Milky Way. Used to be, folks thought this was billions of years away. But, get this, we're on to something incredible. The Big Bash has already kicked off. Our best stargazers have found the proof of this cosmic Barney. The outer edges of these two galaxies are bumping together as we speak. Stars are playing musical chairs between them. That's a dead giveaway that the merger's in full swing. This discovery has knocked the socks off the scientific world, I tell ya. It's changed the way we think about how galaxies grow up. This whole Andromeda and Milky Way merger is a slow dance, mate. We're talking billions of years, stretching on like a Sunday Arvo. It's a waltz of gravity, a cosmic ballet on a scale that'd make your head spin. This event gives us a peek into the universe's photo album, both past and future. It tells us how galaxies grow up and get along with each other, and it reminds us that the cosmos is always on the move, always changing, never a dull moment. Gravity, it's a force you can't see, but it's the boss of the universe, keeps planets in line, keeps galaxies stuck together, the lot. And you guessed it, it's gravity that's playing Cupid with Andromeda and the Milky Way. These two galaxies are locked in a gravitational hug, and things are getting cozy. Now the universe is like a fruitcake in the oven, always expanding, pushing galaxies apart. But gravity, it's a bit of a rebel. It can put the brakes on that expansion, at least in the local area. And the Milky Way and Andromeda, they're close enough to be caught in the act. They're pulling each other closer like magnets in a schoolyard. This gravitational pull, it's like a dog with a bone, never lets go. It's gonna keep reeling those two galaxies in, closer and closer. As time goes on, things are gonna get pretty full on. Stars will be booted out of their orbits like a game of cosmic pinball. Gas clouds will go head to head. And in the end, those two galaxies, they're gonna become one big happy family. Now, when galaxies collide, it's not like a bingle in the Woolies car park, mate. It's not some sudden smash-bang affair. Nah, it's more like a slow dance, a bit of a waltz in space. These galaxies, they'll do a fair bit of waltzing, passing through each other a few times. Each time they pass, they'll get a bit bent out of shape, stretching out like fairy floss, leaving trails of stars and gas. This cosmic dance-off can go on for billions of years, longer than a snag sizzle at Bunnings. And during that time, the galaxies, They'll go through some serious makeovers. Their spiral arms will get all messed up. New stars will be popping up like wildflowers when those gas clouds collide. And those supermassive black holes at the center? Yeah, they'll eventually tie the knot too. These galaxy get-togethers, they're vital for the universe to keep on keeping on. They're how galaxies beef up and grow. They're the reason we've got all these shiny new stars. And they're the main players in shaping up the cosmos, making it the place we call home. Now hypervelocity stars, they're like the speed demons of the universe. A bit of a mystery. They're like those hoons on the highway, going so fast they could outrun the cops, or, in this case, the gravity of their own galaxies. And these speedy stars, they've got a story to tell. A story about what's going on between Andromeda and the Milky Way. We've spotted some of these hypervelocity stars hightailing it away from the Milky Way, and the way they're going, it looks like they came from Andromeda. These runaway stars are like the evidence left behind after a game of cosmic tug-of-war between the two galaxies. As Andromeda and the Milky Way get closer, more stars are going to be chucked out at ridiculous speeds. These stars are like little messengers giving us valuable intel on how this whole merger is going down. They help us understand what's happening when these two heavyweights of the universe decide to have a dance. Righto, on to Section 5, Mapping the Unseen Galactic Halos. Reveal the truth. Now, galaxies are like onions, they've got layers. And surrounding them are these massive, invisible halos of dark matter. This dark matter, it's a bit of a sneaky one. You can't see it directly, but you know it's there because of how it messes with gravity. Our clever astronomers, they map these halos by looking at how their gravity bends the light, coming from far-off objects. It's like looking through a glass of water, makes things look a bit wonky. And get this, recent snooping around the Milky Way and Andromeda's halos has turned up something amazing. The halos are already touching. They're holding hands, cosmic style. This means these galaxies are closer than we thought, closer than two flies on a snag. And it proves that the big merger is already happening, no time to lose. These halo observations, they're like the Rosetta Stone for understanding when and how this merger is going to go down. 
They give us a glimpse into the invisible scaffolding of the universe, the stuff that connects galaxies and dictates how they grow up. The universe, it's full of surprises, secrets just waiting to be uncovered. Alright, time for section 6, A Dance in Stages, The Milky Way, and Andromeda's Future. What's in store for these two lovebirds? This merger, it's not a quickie mate, it's gonna take billions of years, longer than a queue at the MCG on grand final day. It's gonna be a multi-stage process, a bit like renovating a house, each stage with its own dramatic changes. In the beginning they'll take it slow, like a couple on their first date, but that gravity, it's a powerful force, and it'll start to twist and contort their shapes. Long flowing tails of stars and gas will be pulled out like streamers at a cosmic party. As they get closer, things heat up. That gravitational pull gets stronger, more intense. Stars will be flung about like confetti, creating a right mess of stellar populations. Gas clouds will smash into each other, and that's when the real fireworks start, triggering the birth of new stars. And the night sky as we see it from Earth, well, let's just say it'll be getting a makeover, a cosmic light show you won't want to miss. Alright, hold on to your hats, folks. It's Section 7, A New Dawn, The Birth of Milkometa. This is the grand finale, the main event. The hearts of the two galaxies, those cores, they're going to collide head-on and become one. Now this is where it gets wild. Those supermassive black holes, they're not gonna sit this one out, they'll spiral towards each other, like a cosmic waltz gone wrong, releasing a ridiculous amount of energy. But out of all this chaos, a new galaxy will be born. And this new galaxy, we call it Milkomeda, a bit of a mouthful, it'll be an elliptical galaxy, It'll be bigger than both the Milky Way and Andromeda combined, a real whopper. And instead of those fancy spiral arms, it'll be smooth and oval-shaped like a giant cosmic egg. The birth of Milkomeda, it's the end of an era for the Milky Way and Andromeda as we know them. But it's also a fresh start, a reminder that the universe is all about cycles, a bit of destruction and creation, all rolled into one. Now for Section 8. Echoes of creation, galactic mergers, and the universe's story. This whole Milky Way and Andromeda merger, it's not exactly a one-off, mate. Galaxy mergers are happening all over the shop, all over the universe. It's how galaxies evolve, how they beef up and become the big cheeses of the cosmos. And by studying these mergers, we're getting better at understanding the universe's life story. These cosmic barneys give us clues about what it was like when the universe was just a young whippersnapper. Back then, galaxies were packed in like sardines, mergers were happening all the time. And those mergers, they're the reason we've got these massive, impressive galaxies we see today. By having a sticky beak at these galactic get-togethers happening in far-off corners of the universe, we can piece together our own Milky Way's family history. The Milky Way, it's got a past, mate. It's been shaped by countless mergers and interactions over billions of years. It's a real survivor. Alright, let's move on to Section 9. A universe of wonders. Exploring the cosmos. The universe, it's chock full of amazing things enough to make your head spin. From tiny particles you can't even see to galaxies bigger than you can imagine, there's always something new to discover. This whole Milky Way and Andromeda merger, it's just one example of the awesome stuff happening out there, in the vastness of space. And as we keep exploring, we're pushing the limits of what we know. We've got new telescopes, new tech, all helping us see further and clearer than ever before. And with every new discovery, we realize just how massive and complex the universe really is. It's a place full of mystery, that's for sure. But it's also breathtakingly beautiful. Full of wonder. And by studying the cosmos, we're not just learning about what's out there. We're learning about ourselves. About our place in the grand scheme of things. Time for Section 10, Unlocking the Secrets The Power of Human Curiosity. We humans were a curious bunch, always have been, it's in our blood. From the first people who looked up at the stars and wondered what was out there, to the scientists and engineers pushing the boundaries of space exploration today, we've always been driven by this thirst for knowledge, this need to understand the universe around us. And this curiosity, it's led to some amazing discoveries, discoveries that have changed the way we see the world. From inventing the telescope to figuring out how to travel in space, we're always finding new ways to explore the universe and uncover its secrets. This whole Milky Way and Andromeda merger, it's a reminder that the universe isn't just sitting still. It's constantly moving, changing, full of surprises. And it's our job, our passion, to keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep unraveling its mysteries. And finally, Section 11, The Never-Ending Journey, Our Quest for Knowledge. 
Studying the universe, it's like trying to finish a giant jigsaw puzzle one will probably never truly complete. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. But that's what makes astronomy so captivating, so addictive. There's always something new waiting around the corner, another puzzle to solve, another mystery to unravel. This Milky Way and Andromeda merger, it's just one tiny piece of the cosmic puzzle. But by studying it, by wrapping our heads around it, we get a better understanding of the bigger picture, the universe as a whole. We learn about how galaxies live and die, about the force of gravity, and about how the cosmos has changed over time. The universe, it's massive, it's awe-inspiring, but it's not completely beyond our grasp. As long as we keep that curiosity alive, that desire to explore, we can keep unlocking the universe's secrets and figure out where we fit in this grand cosmic scheme. This journey of discovery, it never really ends, and the future of astronomy, well, it's looking pretty bright, full of possibilities.